Okay, hi guys, how's it going? So, I thought I'd share with you this insane timeline on this uh, animation project that I'm working on at the moment. Uh, now, essentially, it's one scene, 4,500 uh, 4, frames long, um, and the, the, the art style is, is fairly simple. You know, it's just white line in this black, um, on a black background. Uh, but there are dozens and dozens and dozens of characters all moving around in this one, uh, this one scene, basically. And the complexity comes from the sheer quantity of characters which are all moving through this one 2D scene, which you then have to like, obviously, you know, make it look like it's 3D, so you've got characters moving behind each other in the right order and all that kind of thing. Um, I haven't counted the, the physical amount of layers and I haven't counted the physical amount of characters because uh, it's got to that point where it's, it's difficult to count. Um, but anyway, have a look because I thought this might be uh, fun for those of you that, you know, maybe you're a film editor or maybe you're uh, a different type of editor to me. Um, you know, I, I work in, in live action, I work in all sorts of stuff. Um, but for those of you that complain about complicated timelines, uh, you know, shed a tear for us poor, poor 2D animators who sometimes have to deal with literally hundreds of layers and it becomes, the timeline becomes immensely complicated and like I say this is one scene and it's not you know we're not talking about Hollywood film here we're talking about a 2D animation project which isn't like you know uh, it shouldn't be insanely complicated and it doesn't appear to be insanely complicated uh, but let me have, let me show you uh, a little screen grab just so you get an idea of what I'm talking about that you can kind of appreciate how complex something like this can get quite quickly and like I say it might feel, feel might make you feel a little bit better about your own project that's getting you know oh no I've got 20 layers oh it's getting difficult and you know that's nothing <laughs> compared to this stuff anyway have a look and then um yeah I just thought I'd share it because it's, it's it's a little bit nuts okay so here, here we have it like I say it's um 4500 frames long which is pretty long for one scene it's running to uh, 150 seconds or so at uh, 30 frames per second this particular one um, and yeah, as you can see, there is lots and lots of uh, fairly straightforward character animation, but there's an awful lot going on. We have um, a bunch of guys here about to watch a film. They're sitting down, an ice cream lady comes up. We have cyclists, we have dogs, we have um, it won't play at full speed uh, in the uh, timeline because it's just too much going on. We've got, we've got, we've got kids in the uh, kitty park over here. We've got uh, there's a guy down here doing break dancing. Um, there's a uh, there's insane amounts going on. There's a guy here feeding pigeons. There's, there's birds. There's dogs. There's these guys uh, come down over here um, and clean the windows on one of those uh, hang off the side window cleaning things. Uh, skateboarders. There there is a lot of stuff going on, and there's even uh, weather. In we've got one scene where it starts to rain, and people put their there are brollies up and, and all sorts of stuff. It's kind of like um, a Where's Wally, where you can watch it and watch it and watch it, and you'll keep spotting more and more stuff um, sort of happening. We have a, a couple, sort of a loving couple getting lost and then meeting each other. We've got a guy getting lost and asking for directions. Uh, we've got someone, a copper, watching uh, a little youth quite suspiciously. <laughs> there is a lot going on here. It's, it's hard to get across exactly what's going on. But... Let's have a look at the timeline because this is where it kind of gets interesting. So, on the on the, the the top layer timeline. So let me just explain that uh, this this main timeline is not the entire timeline because each one of these elements has multiple timelines within it. Um, so I'll just show you that for example to begin with. So in this cinema layer here, if I double click on this, this timeline up here is now a brand new timeline, and these are all you know layers because the characters are going in. Uh, and getting in behind the seats and so the seats have to be on a different layer and all the rest of it and then you've got the cinema screen and the curtains drawing in the background um, so just that one element has I don't know that looks like about 30 layers or so and then if we get back to the main scene like you know like I said each one of these um, characters and animations has multiple layers and even the individual characters have multiple layers because you, gen you generally split off each arm and leg and head um, and you know if they're carrying something or if they're a couple walking together, you know, that's obviously more layers um, So everything is split up up into layers and layers and layers and layers, and layers. Uh, You know fellow anima animators will fully, um, you know, already know that but for those, those guys uh, Those of you that are, um, you know, more into your your video stuff then you know You may not realize just how complicated some of these things get so let's just start at the top here So as I, as I say pretty much every one of these layers 
is, is, is mostly going to be a character or a group of characters or a building or a lamppost or something like that, something that has to physically exist on a layer above another layer so that the characters can walk behind each other in the right order and behind, you know, aspects in this, this it's a 2D plane, but obviously we're making it look like a 3D, uh, simple isometric 3D environment. Um, and so if we start from the top and sort of scroll down, here I'll just pull this uh, window down so you get some idea. So we'll start up at the top here, got bird on roof, bird on column, flock of birds, leapfrog, uh, kid, Z, three girls. Uh, and you pan down and pan down, and it's just, you know, like I say, every single one of these layers uh, is often more than one, is multiple things as well. So we keep going down, keep going down, keep going down. Um, about just about over halfway now. Keep going down, keep going down, and keep going down, and we get to the bottom, which is essentially you know just some of the background elements. So that gives you you know some idea. And as you as you see, if we look at this this timeline, you know there's there's stuff appearing and disappearing constantly and, and there's a lot of things that are moving from one layer below to another layer above just so we can get these characters to uh, walk behind each other and in front of each other in the correct way so that they you know look like they exist within this fake you know 3d environment you know it's, clearly it's just a 2d environment but you, you get what i'm saying everything has to physically sit where it wants to so when the characters are walking across and through the screen um they they need to be able to you know start low down towards the top of the screen and as they get down towards the bottom of the screen they need to be higher up in the hierarchy of layers so that they're physically you know in the right place um anyway so yeah i thought i'd share that with you because it's it's a little bit unusual to have literally dozens upon dozens it's probably around about 100 no it's, it's probably more like about 200 characters um, actually, it's probably more than that. It's probably around about the 300 characters. There's roughly about 80 or so on screen at one time at the busiest point, I, I believe. Uh, so that's mad enough as in, in itself. But then obviously, you know, this, this scene carries on running and running and running and more characters keep coming on and, and going and all the rest of it. Anyway, that's it. I thought I'd just uh, share that with you because, um, yeah, like I say, some of my fellow animators will just be feeling my pain <laughs> with me um, but some of you film guys who may be you know you might possibly have projects that run to like 10 15 20 maybe 30 layers um, that is chicken feed compared to <laughs> what some of us an uh, us animators uh, do especially 2d animators you know 3d 3d's uh, a whole different kettle of fish you know cg uh, 3d environments or the rest of it that's completely different you still might have multiple layers uh, but you don't have to physically arrange them um, in the same way as we do here to make characters move around the space in a correct way so it, you know, it, it works and you don't have glitches, basically. Um, anyway, I'm going to sign off there, guys. I just thought I'd share that with you because, yeah, I know, you know, it's a little bit nuts and it's it's been sending me slowly insane over the last few days getting this done. Um, so it's always kind of it's always kind of fun to share the pain. Um, anyway, anyway, guys, peace out and, yeah, I hope that was vaguely interesting. Cheers.